sunroof. You're able to open it. It goes all the way back to here. Right. So it's pretty large. Uh, we've got our driving. You can actually raise this car about two inches up. Uh, it starts in the back and then goes up front here. So you can kind of feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, once you hit 55, it'll automatically go down to its lowest point. Uh, steering oh. mode down here. We've got Sport, which is the tightest. Comfort, which is the loosest. Standards right there in the middle. Feel free to play with that. Change it at any point while you're driving if you want to see which one's more comfortable to you. Okay. Regenerative braking. Uh, the nice part about that is it actually increases your range. Yeah. Uh, if you have the Volt, I would assume that has sure. it. Mm -hmm. I haven't driven that, but... Oh, yeah. It would... So you're already kind of used to it. Uh, I believe we have a little stronger one, so you'll definitely feel it. Well, I have a low gear on mine okay. that's really strong. You okay. can take your foot off the accelerator, it slows, slows you, down. you down. Exactly. So what that that's does is increases or is your that range. Low or? Yep, standard is okay. low is more of a coast. Uh, so it increases oh, your range. Okay. It also extends life through your brakes. So standard is low on my car, and low is standard. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I like your definition better, but it's good. Uh, your definition is better with the way you used to think about it. You know, put it in low gear to slow yeah. you down faster. Right, right. <laughs> We've got traction control, uh, and then creep function. And the nice part about creep, what it, that is, is in a gas powered car, it slowly. Uh, pushes you forward when you take your foot off the brake pedal. Yeah. Um, we didn't originally have this in the car. A lot of people kind of wanted that more traditional feel that a gas-powered car had, so oh. we actually just sent it as an update to you. Uh, so you didn't have oh. to take it in. Your car gets updates about once a month or so, just remotely uh, mm -hmm. through the internet, and then you have it. So it's really nice. Uh, doors so locked. Do you have the equivalent of OnStar or something to do that update? Or we don't have in there or? OnStar exactly. Uh, it's connected through 3G uh, yeah. up here. Uh, but also for those updates, it uses a different wire, wireless system. So you actually don't even need the 3G for that. Oh. Uh, it'll just come and ask you if you want to update it. Mm -hmm. Climate control down here. Uh, you can heated seats, front and rear uh, defrost. And then if you wanted to change how temperature is, you can do it from right there. And that comes up right over here. Yeah. Um, volume control there. You can also do it up there as well. Mm -hmm. Our media player, we have FM, AM, and XM radio. We also, because again, this is connected to the internet, mm -hmm. satellite, I'm sorry, internet radio. And so this uses Slacker, which if you've ever used Pandora, almost the same thing. Sure. Up here we have our uh, navigation, which is powered by Google, so you get to use our traffic and satellites and all that nice stuff right. that they offer. And also, if you type in some place and navigate, it'll actually come up on your dashboard. It's oh, a little nice. more easy to navigate. Hmm. So oh, it's a nice. really nice little feature. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to look at this. It's nice, nice to have. Uh, our energy consumption, and most of these things can also go on your dash, so right now it's also sure. on your dashboard. So this will tell you how far you're able to go with speed and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we have web. So right now, uh, if you don't like this open space right there, we actually are offering a center console that will have a little more space and mm -hmm. a little more cups and things like that. Mm -hmm. So you can do that as well. Uh, backup camera. And that nice, will, nice. you can put that on at any point. It'll automatically go on in reverse. Mm -hmm. And then you can sync your phone through Bluetooth. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's it. That's what you want. Yeah. All right, so should I try this? Yeah, thing? you're ready to go. You got me in creep mode? I'm like, down is drive. Am I a creep yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's creepy. I'm not hitting the accelerator. It's creepy. This is creepy. It's a creepy feeling. And then we'll get straight out of here. Straight down this to the right here? This way. Oh, that way. Yeah. Follow UPS. That. Follow UPS. And take a right out once you get to that stop sign. Okay. Yeah, see, that's good. That's good. Regenerative braking. That's, uh, that's low. <laughs> low. <laughs> it's full.
How long have you known about uh, Tesla or heard about us? Well, gee, you know, you've been in the news for quite some time. Yeah. I only have a thousand shares. That's my big mistake. <laughs> did your daughter go to the University of Iowa? Yes, yeah, she did. Yes. Uh huh. She did. She graduated with a PhD. Oh, really? Genetics from there. Very nice. Uh, yeah. One of my my best friend from back home went to University of Iowa, and oh, I went yeah. to uh, Drake University in Des Moines. Oh, Drake's nice. Yeah. So. How'd you like Drake? I loved it. It was yeah. it was a nice experience. People yeah. are super super welcoming, and people tend to be friendly there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, Nice so you want me to go to. right or left down here? Uh, once we'll stay in the left lane and stay in the middle right up here. We'll get on the freeway pretty quickly. Ooh. Is there any plans to do anything with the back roof? Like, say, if they want to have a pop-up or tilt or anything to it? No, there is okay. not. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a 2004 Cadillac, which okay. I bought in November 2003. Okay. It had adaptive cruise control, which is like radar. Mm -hmm. It spaces me out from the car in front of me. Right. And... You know, then they stopped offering it. I think they fired all the engineers or something. The Cadillac? Yeah. And so, and then it's like, now Google's got a Toyota driving all over California. Uh -huh. But I want to know when I can have an all-battery powered car that can drive itself, you know? That is a good question. Uh, if I knew the answer to that one, Given I Given this console and everything, you guys are going to be one of the first to offer I, the whole I thing. think so, yeah. <laughs> You say straight, but nope. you mean over Take here. Watch. Yeah, sorry, that. Get on the highway. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at all the cell tower things on the top. Of the now, what confuses me is mm -hmm. when they stop selling the Roadster, now the prices always have skyrocketed. Yes, uh, that is for two reasons. Uh, they're already very expensive. Yes. Um, oh, you're not selling them anymore. Mm -hmm. that Stop selling them in, well, we stopped production on them in 2010. Uh, the reason that they're so expensive, first off, is because they're all handmade. Uh, yes. They're made out of carbon fiber, so that's why they have that additional price. Plus, they drive very, very well. Um, they were limited production, and they were meant to be that way. So, they're at this point kind of a collector's item, and that's yeah, why they're so expensive. That's what it seems like. Yeah. So I'm seeing them go for anywhere between... For the 1.5 in the high 30s, which has a lot of abuse on them and scratched up a little beat up, okay. to $110,000. So, really? Yes. I've but that's for the 2.5. Okay. Gotcha. And uh, there's some damaged ones which have minor cosmetic damage, but it's obviously in the carbon fiber. And those are going in the 20s to 40s, depending yeah. on how much the damage is, how fixable it is. But for some reason, they claim they don't run at all, but yet there's no. Besides, you know, uh, body damage, it's nothing significant. Interesting. Yeah, uh, basically that's the reason why they're kind of, they're, they're a collector's item at this point. Yes. <clears throat> so this car is like 109, you know? No, it starts at 69.9. Oh, 69.9? Yes. And how, what's the range on that one? 230 miles. 230, huh? Yeah. And so, can, can I get more than that? It's possible. 230 is based on going 55 miles an hour without using heat or AC. Yeah. So if you... But I thought... Okay, so there's just one level? I thought there were multiple battery levels. We offer two. We offer one that will get you 300 as well. Okay. Um, so if you were driving to Iowa City, you right. could definitely make it there without a question. Oh, okay. You would just have to really kind of evaluate... You'd have to plan your trip out very well. You'd have to know how fast you're going at all times. Yeah. Uh, because you're kind of... You're not right on the border, but you couldn't do it going how you would normally drive. I tell you, I, I, I have, I've got a small electrical generator. Can you generate off of 110? You, can plug it in you sure can. Uh, it and I could put that in the trunk and take it out if I get panicky, right? You could. <laughs> so what a one... Tesla. Vroom, vroom, like that, right. the side of the road. You could see me off the side of the road, recharging my Tesla. <laughs> and it, I didn't make it to Iowa City. I got a little sign I could put up there. Oh, there you go. Well, this is really, this is a really nice 
nice ride. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. It's quick. Yeah, well, it's electric. You know, you should be. Fall torque. Yeah. Okay, so what am I supposed to turn around here? Ah, uh, you can go on East Willow right oh. here. Oh. And. You want to drive to your right? Yes, sir. You want me to pull off first. and let him switch? Yeah. yeah. He'll test the speed a little bit better than I do. <laughs> Not if I know the car. <laughs> so you have two options. Uh, we'll actually, if you want, we can turn right over there in that Erickson Woods over there. Um, and you can either take the surface streets if you want, or you can go back on the highway. The highway is good. Okay. I'll just take a lap around the mall and bring it back in. Sounds good. Just kind of curious how the whole driving experience is. Yeah. I mean, it's not too loud, but surprisingly on the highway, which is always a fear of mine, that you buy a car and you get a lot of road noise. Right. Yeah, this is a little noisier than I thought it would be. It's actually bad at all, actually. I mean, no, it's not, no, it's some not of bad. the prices I've been that, in with the harder tires well, electric. are loud. Now, don't they have some law coming up that electric cars have got to make noise? There, That's in legislature right now. Legislature. Oh, uh, and then what do I do push here? it in. Push it in? Just like that. Yep, in Niagara oh, Park. Oh. Very nice. 